Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three best VPNs for the dark web. Yes, things are getting dark around here. So if you're considering using the dark web, it's important to protect your data online. And a VPN not only increases your security, but also ensures your privacy. Now, to use a VPN to access the dark web, you'll first need to choose a secure VPN with a proven no logs policy. Then once you've installed the VPN software, you can connect to a server in a country that doesn't block the browser. Then you can open your Tor browser and navigate to your desired site. But this begs the question, which VPN should you use? So not all VPNs work with Tor browsers and some can even hinder your security. So it's honestly important to choose a VPN that's best for Tor. So to help narrow the search, I've tested over 30 VPNs for accessing the dark web specifically. And now remember that a good VPN never leaks your information and it should offer top-notch encryption and security features. So which VPN is the best for the dark web? Well, of all the VPNs I've tested, ExpressVPN was by far the best. And I admit, ExpressVPN is not the cheapest VPN on the market, but it is worth it if you value your privacy. It's also one of the most powerful VPNs for accessing content online, and it's incredibly consistent and reliable. So it also helps that Express protects all internet traffic with military grade AES 256 bit encryption, as well as the kill switch and DNS leak protection. And because it's headquartered in the British Virgin Islands, you can trust Express's strict no logs policy. Just in case though, the service also utilizes a trusted server technology that wipes all servers every time they're powered on or off. Now, all of ExpressVPN's apps are Tor compatible and you'll be able to connect up to eight devices under one license. And I like that Express has apps for Windows and Mac and Android, iOS, Android TV, Linux, Chrome, and Firefox, but it also offers an app for use with certain routers. Okay, another one for Express is that it can access Hulu, Netflix, HBO, Amazon Prime Video, Showtime, Sling TV, DAZN, BBC iPlayer, and much more. ExpressVPN also supports torrenting and all of its servers support peer-to-peer -peer activity. You might also like that Express comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, which will allow you to literally test all of its premium features risk-free, and you can ask for your money back if you're not impressed. So if you'd like to give Express a try, I'll include a link in the description where you can learn more and save some money off the regular price if you're interested. Now, my second VPN recommendation that's great to use when accessing the dark web is NordVPN. Nord is a veteran VPN provider provider that stores zero logs about its users' online activities. Among its huge global server network is an onion over VPN option, which automatically routes your traffic through the Tor network after it leaves the VPN tunnel. And whether you use that option or not, you get the military grade encryption, as well as an app specific kill switch and strong leak protection. So speeds are the best when I tested and you can connect like 10 devices at a time. Now to provide an extra layer of security for its users, Nord accepts crypto payments. And it's also helpful that Nord apps are available for Windows and Mac and iOS and Android and Fire TV and Linux. So overall, NordVPN is a solid choice for browsing the dark web safely. Onion over VPN servers provide an extra layer of security and privacy while blazing fast speeds make it easy to navigate the web quickly and securely. And Nord security is top notch, so it will keep you safe while you're browsing the dark web. And like Express, Nord comes with a 30 day money back guarantee so that you can try their services risk free. And last but definitely not least is Surfshark, which is also great for the dark web. So when it comes to security, Surfshark is one of the best on the market. For example, it uses the most up to date security protocols, such as the AES 256 bit encryption, as well as a kill switch and protection against DNS leaks and the traffic obfuscation features capable of hiding the fact that you're using a VPN at all. Most importantly, Surfshark doesn't log any information that could identify you. And Surfshark is also one of the few VPNs that accepts crypto payments. And you can also use a disposable email address to register almost entirely anonymously. It's helpful that Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Fire TV, and Android apps are all available. So overall, Surfshark provides provides an excellent level of privacy and security for its users. And unlike other VPNs, Surfshark does not have a limitation on the number of devices that can be connected simultaneously. Plus, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee as well, so you can try it risk free. So those are my top VPN recommendations for the dark web. And as a reminder, if you are interested in trying out Express, Nord or Surfshark, make sure you check out the special
special discount links that I'll put in the description down below so that you can save some money. And before I end this video, I would like to take the opportunity to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that I get about VPNs and the dark web. So for the first question, what's the difference between the dark web and the deep web? So the dark web is the part of the internet that is accessed primarily through Tor and dark websites have an onion top level domain. Also, users are anonymous on the dark web. And then the deep web is everything on the internet that isn't indexed by search engines. So that includes the dark web, but also so much more. For the next question, can the dark web be monitored? Well, it depends what you mean by monitored. For example, banks and identity theft protection services routinely monitor dark web marketplaces for their customers' personal details. And internet service providers can see if you're accessing the dark web if you're not using a VPN. But it's generally not possible to identify someone who's using Tor unless they expose their personal information. And last question, is identity theft a problem on the dark web? So the dark web has several marketplaces where stolen identities are bought and sold, but it's usually not the place where identity theft actually occurs. Maybe that's a good video for another time. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to check out the links in the description to grab yourself one of the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.